regulator that I know works. So it's idling around just over 14. That's with the regulator I know is working. Um, I'll pop that off now and we'll put the one on that I polished up and we'll see what happens. Okay, so that's wired up. Uh, it's just hanging there for now. Everything's connected, so it doesn't need, it doesn't ground through the frame as such. It grounds through its, its own earth there, and then that goes straight back into your loom. So I'll fire it up now, and we'll see what that voltage sits at. So even with its earth, uh, it must be the um, the regulator's gone. I've checked the rectifying. The diodes are sensing everything as they should. Uh, if you see on my other video about that. But yeah, that's uh, that's no good. As you can see, as soon as it's running, it's putting out far too many volts. Place is that let's not wreck the battery so that's today's lesson if your regulator is putting out too many volts like that it will wreck your battery in a very short period of time and the telltale for me was a headlight blowing because obviously it's expecting about 14 volts and uh, God knows what it put through so there we have it, a rainy afternoon in Halifax. This rectifier regulator that I've been testing rectifies but doesn't regulate. All the diodes showing correct on the multimeter as per my other video. And then on this video, too much voltage. That's why I was blowing headlights. So I've seen these for sale. You can get the rectifier regulator part without the heatsink part. And then there's another one where I've seen you have to buy the whole thing, so I'm not sure. The uh, the working one on the bike seems to have a captive rectifier regulator, I don't know. So I'll, uh, I'll look at the differences. There's also another company in England that makes um, replacement ones that are supposedly better quality. They are 20 pounds more. So I've asked them for um, a model to review. Let's see if they send me, uh, send me that, because I do need two. I need one to replace this one and one to replace one on my next bike that I've got arriving soon. So thanks for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's uh, that's where I post things initially. And uh, give it a share for us. You could test your regulator rectifier. Just put your multimeter on with your engine running. 14 volts is about where you want to be. 14.4 in a perfect world. But 14 is where everything's expected to work. So there we are. Thanks for watching.